We're here today in the invitation of Corey and Danielle to share in the joy of their wedding. This outward celebration is an expression of the inner love and devotion they have in their hearts. Our story is not your typical fairy tale, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Right from the start, we were hit with many challenges. Most of the people standing here remember the chaos that was us seven years ago. I remember vividly the look in everyone's eyes when I confidently stated time and time again that I would marry you one day. Everyone thought I was crazy. <laughs> and rightfully so, because the, from the outside looking in, we were a mess back then. I love your tenacity, how you're never afraid to take a leap. You never worry about making a mistake or people doubting you, and even if you fall, you always find the strength to get back up and try again. You've taught me how to not be afraid and how to fight things for things that I want out of life. I love how you're never afraid to be your true self and that you wear your heart on your sleeve. I'm amazed every day by the courage you have to be vulnerable and authentic with people. life I chased down what I thought was my dream. I loved performing and it always gave me a path and a purpose, something to keep me focused. But I couldn't have known as a little girl that my passion for performing was actually a rail railway to my real destiny, you. Theater may not be what either of us decided to make our career, but it certainly led us to each other. And I believe that every moment, moment of that journey happened for a reason because I was always meant to be right here, in this moment, right now, looking into your eyes and vowing to give you every ounce of love and energy that I have for the rest of my life. You show me how to let my guard down and I have truly learned to love myself more through loving you. I admire your empathy and how deeply you care for people. Your first impulse is always to help others as soon as you see them struggling. I tell you all the time, you've got the biggest heart I know, and I really mean that. You softened my heart as well and made me kinder. There are just a few of the ways that your love has made me a better man, and there's no one else that I have more fun with, and no one more beautiful to me than you. I'm truly lucky to have found my soulmate, the person meant just for me. I love you more than anything. And I'm ready to take on this beautiful mess that is called life <laughs> together. And that's why today I'm making you my wife and I'm offering these vows to you. I vow to support all of your goals and ambitions. Even when I can't always see the finished picture, I, I know and trust that you can see it. I commit to always making you laugh and to finding the bright side even in dark moments. I promise to never stop dancing around the kitchen with you like fools to old musicals we love, <laughs> and also to never, ever laugh at your dance moves. <laughs> I vow to always be there for you to cry on and vent to when you're just feeling overwhelmed and you need to let it all out. Even if I can't always fix what's going on, I will be there to listen. I promise to always rub your back or play with your hair when you're sick or you can't fall asleep. I swear to never eat the last Oreo in the box. <laughs> That's one I learned early on with you. <laughs> I 
but under the, that mess was the purest and truest love I'll ever know. And I knew it from the first time we kissed, because in you I did not just find love. I found the puzzle piece that completes me. I found my best friend, my support system, my partner in crime, the one who I can literally tell anything to and feel comfortable doing so, knowing that you will love me just the same no matter what. The one who accepts, understands, and loves the complicated kind of crazy that is me. You are undeniably and un unquestionably my other half. You are the Chandler to my Monica, cracking jokes to lighten the mood when I'm running around crazed with a million to-do lists in my hand. You're the Henry to my Natalie, talking me off a cliff when my head is spinning and I can't find the mental strength. You're the Peter to my Wendy, when I need a reminder that all the worries of the world can be left behind by simply taking your hand. You are my nightlight in my darkest hours and the reason I smile when a new day dawns. Here are the chapters of my life that shine the brightest, and I cannot wait for this next one. I vow to never schedule anything for you on a Saturday in college football season. <laughs> I vow to be gentle when I dust the entertainment system that stores your gaming systems. I vow to let you do all the stovetop stove cooking. I vow to continue loving you when you shorten random words and use them like they actually exist in the dictionary, aka stimmy. <laughs> I vow to never lose interest in your good taste for music, to continue to be awestruck by the wealth of knowledge you have and the zest of life that you possess. I vow to always make you dance with me in the kitchen in the middle, in the middle of a card game because the song that's playing in the background is just too good, to make you only keep the t-shirts that bring you joy, <laughs> to go biking more often, and most of all, I vow to love you more than the last brownie batter Oreo. <laughs> But, you know, Danielle has, again, always been, you know, the one that uh, is a very strong-willed person. She's always been there for him. She's, she will be there for everybody that she loves. And I told Corey when he asked her, when he asked her for a hand in marriage, I said to Corey, I said, let me tell you something, Corey. If I was in a foxhole, if there's anybody I'd want standing next to me, there's nobody I'd want more than Danielle standing next to me, because I know she'd fight like, a, like hell to, to, to back up to back up anybody in her life. Danielle has always been a star in my eyes and she will always be the star I follow. Danielle, I'm your biggest fan and I, and I always will be. It was the summer before our senior year that the two of them worked at Alhambra and Corey came back that fall and I knew something had changed and I knew that something was different this time. He was both happy and sad. He was happy that he had met the person who he would eventually spend the rest of his life with, but he was sad that they had to spend time apart and have a long distance relationship. Mm -hmm. 